this statement and give the floor to uh, International IDEA. Thank you, Madam Chair. We would like to thank the co-facilitators of Sweden and Zambia for the opportunity to provide inputs into this first informal consultation of the Global Digital Compact in 2024. International IDEA is an intergovernmental organization with the mandate to strengthen democracy worldwide. As we look at technology through the lens of democracy, we would like to focus our comments on key areas of digital divide, the governance of AI, and leaving no one behind, following the guiding questions shared ahead of the meeting. On inclusion to mitigate the digital divide. Digital technologies have become key infrastructure enabling human activity across all facets of life. Permanent access to digital technologies is increasingly becoming a prerequisite for personal autonomy. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we witnessed how divergent level, levels of access to digital services online sharply increase inequalities globally. In this time and age, this digital inclusion leads inevitably to social and political exclusion. The Global Digital Compact should consider access to digital technologies, particularly their internet, as a fundamental entitlement for all human beings with full respect for democratic principles and human rights. On governance of artificial intelligence, AI and other emergency, emerging technologies will have a significant transformative impact in the world. Therefore, we would like to highlight the importance of developing a democratic governance structure for AI that helps maximize its potential and minimize its most harmful effects. We are particularly concerned by AI's growing role in spreading disinformation and hate speech that fuels toxic polarization. This eroding the democratic fabric in both older and newer democracies. The GDC should meaningfully address the risk that AI poses for democracy and stipulates that AI data systems and business models be based on the democratic principles of transparency, accountability, inclusion, equity, protection of human rights, and rule of law online. On leaving no one behind, the compact should also rest on the principles envisioned in the UN Charter, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and the 2030 Agenda. Leveraging digital technologies to accelerate implementation of the SDGs should be of priority. If we aim to leave no one behind, this compact should address the enhancements of digital access for all as a universal public good, the inclusion of all countries in the digital economy, and investments in digital literacy to increase resilience to disinformation. Principles of sustainability, human rights, transparency, and cooperation are all critical facets for the success of the GDC. International IDEA reiterates its full support to this process and we encourage member states to make the most of this opportunity to help bridge the digital divide and make I thank the representative of International IDEA for her statement. Uh, we have